Welcome back trainers. Are you ready for some exhilarating Pokemon action? Because today we have some amazing battles lined up that you're sure to enjoy. Get ready to witness a double dose of spectacular battles, both starring the camel with a hot temper Camerupt. So sit back, relax and prepare to be astounded as we dive into these heated matches featuring everyone's favorite camel. Trainers, if you enjoy the adrenaline fueled battles and want more heart pounding action, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe to join us on our journey to 20k subscribers. Your support means the world to me, so let's keep the excitement going. Anyway, with all that being said, let's jump straight into the first battle. And the first battle is here. We're going against Rookie from the Discord server in the OU tier. Now, looking at their team, they've got a Galarian Slowking, Volcarona, Aloma Malola. I can't pronounce that one. I'm sorry. Great Tusk, Rillaboom, and Thunderous Ferian. Pretty awesome stuff. It's a very powerful team. That Volcarone is a big threat, but it's a very much a team that we can take advantage of with the Trick Room, I believe. So, as someone pointed out to me the last battle, and I completely forgot to change it for this battle, uh, I should put Lagging Tail on my Slowking so that it still goes last with Chili Reception even in Trick Room, but I just, I don't have a Lagging Tail, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't have one in my inventory, and I'm like, I'm uh. Anyway, we can probably lead off safely with Low Kicks here. Low Kicks is really well. They may switch into Volcarona to take said whatever we go for with the low kicks. So they can try and get the flame body burn, but I'm pretty sure we can go from there. We'll get Trick Room up on camera up. Looks like it could put some work in, potentially. And um, we'll just have to see. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Rookie. So they're going to lead off with whatever that is, which is the Slow King. We lead off with low kick, so it's not a bad match, but first and foremost. So um, if we just go for a U-turn now, they may well stay in, but we get some cheap damage off on the slow king. I think they are likely to switch into the Volcarona, to be honest with you, just to get the flame body. But if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. The more than likely going to go into a great Tusk if I had to guess. Uh, Mothra comes in, the Volcarona. That's a good nickname. Look at that shiny as well. That's gorgeous. We go for a U-turn. A lot of damage. And there's the flame body. Of course, it's like, it's like, it's like, um, I, I can't remember what this is. Something work. It's like something work. <laughs> I can't remember the name now. What, what's I saying? It's like what? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go into Primarina. Primarina handles this thing pretty well. Good old blue note. And we should be able to ha scare this thing out with um, any attack that we want to go for, really. Looking at that team, I'd say Slowking's probably coming in. So let's go for a flip turn. It should still KO the Mothra. They do withdraw Mothra. And um, there we go. So, uh, yeah, in comes the Slow King, as, as expected. So we go for a flip turn. Get on out of there. Get some chip damage off on the Slow King, which is always nice. And now we can freely go into pretty much whatever we want. So what I'm going to go into is going to have to be... I'm leaning towards the camera up to the Earth Power. Because it hurts everything on the team except from the Thunderous. But then again, we could go for an Eruption. That would be just as effective. Or we could go into Crabomitable. I can't say that either. Great. I am going to bring Camerupt in just because the, it might scare them. Camerupt isn't something you usually see in OU. So they might be expecting an Earthquake by the way I brought it in. So I'm, I'm kind of trying to bluff the Earthquake here when, when in reality we have Earth Power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for an Eruption first and foremost. Just to get as much damage off as possible. They actually tell a chillingly bad joke and they go first. Which is amazing for us. Because it means now we get an eruption. A choice specs eruption on whatever that we want. And I'm assuming they're going to either bring in the Rillaboom to take an Earthquake here. Or the Thunderous. And they're going to bring in, what is that? Aloma Molo, Molo, Whatever it's called. Let's go for an eruption choice specs. That does a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage right there. They do have a red card. They throw us right out of there. We could use this opportunity. If we can go into Sloking here, that'd be amazing. Yes! Perfect! Because now we can get the Trick Room up. We got a free, a free turn to get the Trick Room up. So I'm going to go for a Trick Room real quick. They go for a Flip Turn. It's going to bounce right off us. But they are going to get their Regenerated Health back. Um, so let's go for it. Let us go for it. Let us go for it on the Trick Room. I can't believe we got red carded strange sloking. That was like such an ideal situation. So in comes the Great Tusk. We get the Trick Room up like so. We're probably going to see a headlong rush. Probably. So what I'm going to do is just in case they make a double switch. I'm not going to hard switch into Corviknight. 
I know we outspeak because of the trick room. So I'm going to go for a chilly reception now. Just to get on out of there. Like that. Tell a chillingly bad joke. Boom. And then we're going to go straight into Corviknight. Like so. So there we go. Drip Queen comes back to us. And I only did that just in case they made the double switch. Predicting the Corviknight to come in. But the Corviknight is our only switching really. So um, let's go into it real quick. Like so. Silvera come through. Lovely. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. They go for a knockoff, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. And then we get some Rocky Helmet chip. But they do knock off our Rocky Helmet, so got to remember that for future, you know, switching. So let's go for a U-turn now. We do our speed, but they haven't got any pivot moves, so they should hard withdraw here. They do withdraw the Great Tusk, which is great. We get a free U-turn off on whatever they bring in. And they're going to bring Kiryu, which is going to be, what was that again? Thunderous. Interesting. So we go for a U-turn, breaking a potential Focus Sash, which is great. Now we get a free switch into our camera where we can unleash some eruptions. Um, choice of X eruptions from camera are going to even hurt the um, sloking, that's for sure. So Vesuvius comes in to take advantage of that trick room. We go for an eruption. There's no reason not to, really. Because even if they're Terra Water, they still can't take the eruption based on the damage it did to the Aloma Mola. So Thunderous goes down, which is amazing. One threat out of the way for us. And then we're going to see the snow does stop, but the trick room is still active. So let's see what they do bring in here. Kangles comes in. Is that, what's that again? That's the Great Tusk. Ooh. Great Tusk, eh? Are you going to Terra Water on me? I think it Terra Waters here to take the hit and then takes us out of a headlong rush. So I think maybe my best bet is Corviknight again. Yeah, I'm going I'm to play it safe. I want to keep camera up to round. The fact that they brought the Great Tusk in here instead of the Aloma Mola tells me they are going to Terra Water or something. So if I go into Corviknight real quick, like so, we'll see what they're going to do. They go for an EQ. They just went straight for the attack. Eruption would have KO'd there, unless they're Assault Vest, of course. Right. Knowing this thing cannot touch us, I'm going to go for a U-turn once again, because I feel like they do switch out here. They go for an Ice Spinner. So we get a free switch into the Great Tusk, which is great. The Ice Spinner is going to bounce right off Corviknight. We go for a U-turn. Get on out of there. They could be Rocky Helmet, but they're not, which is good. And then we're going to go into pretty much anything we want to, to take on this Great Tusk. Now, I'm leaning towards the Crabominable, but they could have close combat. So I've got to be very careful there. I could go Camera Upt, Terra Grass to take the Earthquake like a champ, and then go for Terra Blast. But is that a bad thing or a good thing? I don't know. Pre-Marina can definitely take an Earthquake from this thing. Maybe not a Headlong Rush, but can definitely take an Earthquake. And we know they have Earthquake, Ice Spinner, and Knockoff, and probably Rapid Spin looking at the composition of the team. So, if we assume they're going to switch out here, we should go for a Moonblast or a Surf. I think we go for a Flip Turn, because they've got, they've got to go into uh, Sloking, right? So, they do withdraw. Do withdraw. And in comes whatever that is, which I'm assuming is the Sloking. Yes, the Sloking comes in. We get a nice and powerful Flip Turn off on it, which is always great. And we get a free switch back down into our... Um, what do we go into here? Sloking ourselves to get the trick room up? I'd say so. I'd say so. Or we can go into Crabominable and go for a knockoff. Yeah, I think Crabominable into the knockoff is probably a good idea. Because we definitely scare this thing out. That's for sure. Because they won't have Psychic. They'll have Future Sight. Future Sight is the norm. Psychic is extremely rare on Sloking. So, got to be wary that they could have it. But I'm pretty confident we can live one. So I'm going to go for a knockoff real quick. They do go for a future sight. Which is, got, we're going to be wary of that. And we go for a knockoff now, which is going to do a lot of damage. Actually KOs the Slow King with not even a critical hit. Just straight up KOs. Crab Abominable is a monster sometimes, I tell you what. An absolute monster. In comes the Volcarona. So Volcarona is here. We know what they're going to do here. They Quiver Dance, right? So do I go for a Crab Hammer? I'd say so. I'd say we go for a crab hammer. Yeah, they quiver dance. They 100 percent quiver dance. Yeah, exactly, because they think we're gonna switch out. We have to go into pre-marine here, right? No, I'm not I'm making a ballsy play here. I'm making a ballsy play here. We go for a crab hammer. Down goes Mothra. Are we gonna get burned? We do get burned, unfortunately. So Crabominable and Low Kicks, our two physical attackers, are both burned and out of there. But we definitely made the right play there with the um the crab hammer. Getting rid of that Volcarona before it can set up is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So now they've got a Loma Lamona. I can't say it. I can't say it. Great Tusk, Rilla Boom. We can definitely do this with Camerupt. Here comes Gortrim, the reliable partner. 
which is going to be the Rillaboom. So Grassy Surge is going to put the Grassy Terrain up. We kind of need a, a free switch in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Corviknight, like so. There we go. I'm going to go Corviknight. And um, I'm going to just go for a slow U-turn on this uh, Rillaboom real quick into our um, Glorian Slow King. So let's see how this plays out. They go for a Drain Punch. It's going to do some decent damage and he gets some health back for them. Not that they really needed it too much. They are Life Orb, which is good to note. And we are going to get that Future Sight Attack sponged up, which is great. So we either, we either get away with a U-turn here or we lose Corviknight and we get a free switch in. It's, it's either or. Let's go for that U-turn real quick. They do go for a U-turn of their own. Which isn't going to do any damage to him. And they're probably going to go into the Great Tusk if I had to guess. Great Tusk is the perfect switching because it stops us from going into Galarian Slow King and setting up a Trick Room. And that is going to be important later on. So in comes Kankles, the Great Tusk. Like so, we go for a U-turn. And we do have things that could outspeed here. We definitely do. But they have Earthquake, Ice Spinner and Knock Off. And they probably have Rapid Spin and Not Close Combat. So I feel pretty safe. Going into my good old-fashioned Crabominable Ball again. Because Crabominable doesn't have to worry about close combat to other face. All we have to worry about is an Earthquake, which is weakened by Grassy Terrain. An Ice Spinner, which is resisted. And a Knockoff, which is also resisted. So, I think we're alright, to be honest with you. Let us go for an Ice Hammer. And see how much damage this does to the Great Tusk, really. They're gonna Terror. So, I'm glad they've Terrored now. So, they can't get the Surprise Terror on my camera up to get it back in. Camera is the key to winning this, though, 100%. Terrifier. Terrifying. Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifier Great Tusk is here. They go for an EQ. It's, it's weakened by the Grass Train. It's not going to do much damage as we get a free high Hammer off, which is going to lower our speed, but still does a decent bit of little chip damage to the Great Tusk, despite the burn. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So I'm thinking... They probably think at this point, we don't really have anything for this Crabominable other than Rillaboom's um, Drain Punches. So I'm going to go for a Close Combat just in case they stay in. They do stay in and go for a Knock Off, which is going to knock off whatever item we had, which is going to be the Heavy Duty Boots. And then we go for a Close Combat and get some Chip Damage off. At this point, Crabominable's job is to just get Chip Damage off. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. It does lower our defenses a bit, but that's fine. We can handle this still. We can definitely handle this still. As the burn is going to take effect. All we need to do is weaken this Great Tusk. That's all we need to do. Close combat. Here we go. That's what we need. Close combat. They go for a rapid spin to boost their speed and also get as much damage off as possible on us. And then close combat comes through. And we get some nice bit of chip damage off again. But we're basically taking out this Great Tusk with our Crab Honorable, who's burned. But there's no reason for me to switch out. You know? There's definitely no reason for me to switch out here because Crab Honorable can do this. No problem. So I'm just going let to it, let it go down, really. As the grass does disappear from the field, meaning the Earthquake is at full power now. Let's go for a close combat just in case they don't. But they go for a rapid spin to boost their speed once again. So absolutely fine by me. I'm not too fussed about the Great Tusk, to be honest with you. Really not too fussed about the Great Tusk. Because now um, I'm pretty confident Sloking can take an Earthquake from this thing. I'm pretty confident of that. But I'm more confident that Pre-Marina can force an Aloma Loma Loma. An Aloma can force an alo the heart pokemon the heart fish pokemon it can force a switch on that so let's go for a flip turn first that'll take out the great tusk no problem they do withdraw because they can still use the great tusk for later and they're going to go into gortrum which is going to be what that's the rillaboom right yeah the rillaboom comes in so rillaboom being dragged in is great for us and i'll tell you why in a second so and um, we go for a, a flip turn here like so on the switch we go into our um, Galarian Slow King, like so. There we go. Galarian Slow King comes through. Lovely jubbly. So there we go. With the Galarian Slow King, we can go for a Trick Room now. And I know we can live any hit from this thing. So let's go for the Trick Room real quick. They go for a knockoff, which is to be expected. It does a lot of damage, but I knew we could live at least one. I knew we could live at least one because it's not stabbed. If they had high, ho high horsepower... It wouldn't have done as much damage either, actually, because knockoffs boosted when you got an item. So we twist the dimensions real quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let Slowking go down here and go for a future sight. That's what I'm thinking. They may go for a grassy glide, which will take us out. But like I said, as long as we get a free switch in with camera, we are golden. This thing's not choice banded either, which means grassy glide is not going to do as much damage to the camera. 
because we are Terra Grass on the camera ropes. So we can definitely live a hit from this thing. So I'm going to go into Vesuvius real quick. Like so. I'm going to Terra and I'm going to go for an Eruption because it'll definitely take out the Rillaboom. It'll definitely take out the Aloma Loma Loma. If, especially if they switch in the Alo, Alo, the Heartfish. You know, we should be all right. So they withdraw. Are they going to go straight into the fish? The Heartfish? The Palindrome? No, they go into the Great Tusk to sack it off, which makes sense. So we're going to go for a Terra. Terra Grass, to be precise. And then we're going to go for an Eruption. We get a free Eruption off on this thing with no health deductions at all. I kind of thought they'd stay in with the Rillaboom to attack us just to get the health deduction for the Eruption power. Um, but they didn't. So we go for an Eruption now. And that easily takes out the Great Tusk. So camera putting the work in in OU is what we always like to see. You've got to love it. Like seriously, you've got to love it. All right, in comes whatever that is, which is going to be the Aloma Malola. Now I'm confident that Eruption will take this thing out from full HP. I mean, us being full HP because of maximum Eruption power. So I'm going to go for the Eruption. There we go. No Protect or anything. Great. I'm confident this will take it out. It does. <laughs> Camera up coming through in the Trick Room. You gotta love it. And next we have Rillaboom, which is definitely going to go down from the Eruption as well, which is fantastic. So let's see this happen. There's the Rillaboom. Gortrim coming through. Guess that grassy terrain up. Not that it matters. They can go for a Grassy Glide to lower the power of the Eruption if they want to, but we're Choice Spec, so I'm pretty confident it'll still take it out. As they don't even bother, they're just going to let the Rillaboom go down. And that is going to be the game, so G, G Rookie, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. Camera Up did so well, and the whole team did really well. My opponent played well as well. I think we just outplayed them a little bit there, but really well played by my opponent, G, G Rookie. And the second battle is here. We're going against Rylan, also known as Valkyrie, from the Discord server in the OU tier. Looking at the team, Dragapult, Goldengo, Ribombe, Chinchino, Incineroar, and a Great Tusk. Pretty powerful stuff. Looks like Crabominable is going to have a good time if we can get off that Trick Room strat with it. We just need to weaken the Goldengo a little bit and break the Sash on the Ribombe. If they go for the Ribombe, uh, I think they're going to lead with Ribombe, so I might lead off with Camera Up, to be honest with you. Just to get an Eruption off early on. They may also lead with Dragapult, which is also fine. I feel like a Crab uh, is going to be the important one here, so I'm going to do that. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, Valkyrie or Rylan. They do lead up with the Rabombe. Now, the interesting thing is, if they go for a Sticky Web, that's actually going to benefit us if under the Trick Room. So I'm going to go straight for an Eruption here, just to get the damage off on the Rabombe. Go for a Sticky Web, which is great for us. Um, not really great, great, because like Low Kicks is going to be hindered by it, but we go for an Eruption anyway. Which is going to destroy that Rabombe's life other than the Focus Ash. And now, they have very limited switch-ins to a Choice Specs Eruption. So I'm going to go for another one. And they can't do that much damage to us with the Moon Blast. So they go for a Stun Spore instead, which is fine. Again, Trick Room is going to negate that other than the chance to be fully paralyzed. Like, oh, I thought we were going to get fully paralyzed. So I was going to say like so. But it didn't work out. So Rabombe goes down. Rabombe in their eyes did their job though. They managed to get the sticky webs up and they paralyzed our camera up, so it did a good job to be fair. Great Tusk comes in. So what we could do here is we could Terra Grass. Now, do I need Terra for anything else on their team? I am leaning towards Terra Grassing because they more than likely go for an Earthquake here, which we can then resist and get some serious damage off on the Great Tusk. They might also be a bulk upset, so I don't think I need Terra for anything else. So I'm just going to Terra Grass Eruption right off the bat. Just because why not? <laughs> they more than likely go for a headlong rush or an earthquake here. We didn't see Protosynthesis boost strategy, so they're more than likely earthquake, which is weaker than headlong rush. Still a powerful move, base 100, but we should still be able to take it thanks to our natural bulk. So they go for a knockoff, knocking off our choice specs, which does about half to us, which is really unfortunate as we now go for an eruption, which is going to do about 50%, about I'd say. Oh, we got a crit. Nice. But if it wasn't a crit, about 50%, I'd say. So not too bad. Let's just go for an Earth Power here, just in case. They actually go for a close combat, though, which is going to take us out. So Camera Up did a good job. It took out the Ribombe, and it weakened the Great Tusk, which is amazing for us. So we're in a very good position right now, um, as now the stage is set for our Crabominable to come in and start putting in some work. So we know they've got close combat, so we can't bring it in now. They've probably got Headlong Rush if they've got close combat. 
but we can scare this thing out of a low kick, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Low kicks is first impression, will do a lot of damage to anything. It's nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. We're going to get caught in that sticky web, but it's fine. First impression will take them out from here. So I'm going to go for the first impression. It'll hurt everything on that team, so there's no reason not to. They probably go Goldengo if I had to guess. They do withdraw the Great Tusk. Are they going to go Goldengo? It is going to be Choice Banded, and it is going to be um, boosted by Tinted Lens. They bring in the Chinchino. Interesting choice as we go for a first impression, which is cleanly going to take that thing out. So Chinchino goes down. Fantastic work from uh, Low Kicks right there. Let's see how this plays out for us. In comes Incineroar. So this thing is going to get an Intimidate off, no doubt. Uh, there we go. The Intimidate comes through, which means and we're also locked into first impression. We have to switch out here. There's no there's no umming and ahhing about it. We have to switch out. But the question is what to? I'm leaning towards Primarina. Because Primarina resists both stabs. It is the counterpart to it, after all, being the water starter of that region. Um, so typically Primarina would do the job here. Unless they have Thunder Punch, but I don't think they would. We get caught in the sticky webs, which is unfortunate, but it's at the same time we're at, we were getting out of sped anyway. They go for a fake out. Interesting. So fake out's a good move. Let us go for a flip turn. What do they go into here? We can probably just get away with a surf, right? So I'm going to go for a surf. Because if they bring Dragapult in, we can take any hit from that thing as well. I'm going to go for a Moonblast. They go for a parting shot, which is going to lower our special attack, unfortunately. So we've got attack, special attack, and speed all lowered. This Primarine is not in a good position, but Surf should do a lot of damage to everything on the team. Even the Dragapult's not going to appreciate it too much. And we can then switch our moves and go for a Moonblast on the Dragapult. Goldengo comes in. Nice and powerful. There we go. We go for a Surf. Let's see how much damage this does to the Goldengo. Not a lot, but we can take any hit from this thing. So I'm going to go for a flip turn and get on out of there. They go for the make it rain. It's going to sting a little bit, but not too much. As um, that definitely looks like choice specs damage because I'm a salt vest. So that was definitely choice specs damage, I'd say. So let's flip turn on out of there. And we will go into our nice and powerful... Yeah, looking at the team, I think we're golden. Let's go into the slow king. I think this is the opportunity we've been looking for. Because this thing's probably choice. They probably go into the Dragapult next. But um, we go for a Trick Room. No, no, definitely we go for a Trick Room here. We definitely go for a Trick Room. So I'm going to go for it now. I'm confident we can take any hit from this, this Goldengo. And I'm also confident they'll switch out into the Incineroar right now. So they did withdraw the Goldengo. Probably going into the Incineroar, right? Yeah, Incineroar, the Paldea champion comes in. Looking amazing. I love Incineroar. It's such a cool design. Such a cool design Pokemon. We go for a Trick Room. We're setting up to go with Crabonable, which is amazing. And they already Terra'd, didn't they? They didn't Terra. Never mind. we still got to worry about Terra. So, I'm going to go for a Chili Reception right now. I'm going to sack off the Pre-Marina. So, there we go. Chili Reception comes through. And the only way they could ruin this plan is if they go for a Parting Shot, which is a possibility. Um, definitely a possibility, but I think it's more likely to go for a knockoff here. So what I'm actually more inclined to do is, I think I still go Primarina and sack off here. And if they don't KO us, we get a free surf off anyway. So we're going to get caught in that sticky wedge, which actually increases our speed in the trick room. And they go for a knockoff as expected. Oh, it doesn't KO. That is actually thrown a spanner in the works. I was hoping it would KO. So let's go for a Surf real quick. Primarina can still take advantage of this Trick Room. So we go for a Surf. Weaken this thing. Or take it out, even. Incineroar goes down. There we go. So Primarina is looking pretty good right now. Looking very good right now. As in comes Dragapult the Treasure Hunter. This thing's going to tear on us. It's nice and shiny as well. Got to love it. We go for a Moonblast because they probably go for a Terra, right? Yeah, they Terra. We want to get as much damage on this Dragapult as possible. And we want Primarina to go down so we can bring Crabominable in. Pretty much. So let's see what they Terra into. Ghost. Okay. That's to be expected. Ghost is a pretty common Terra on Dragapult. And I'm kind of glad they have. Because it means Crabominable can get on the stage a bit. So we go for a Moonblast. Still does over half. And lowers the special attack. They go for a Shadow Ball. So now Crabominable can come in and finish this thing off with a knockoff. So let's go for it. And they can't surprise Terra with us any anymore either. Which is great. So let's see how this plays out. So blue note goes down. Blue note goes down. And Crabominable can now come in and take advantage of that trick room. There we go. So Brawl out comes through. Like so. 
And let's check out how many turns of Trick Room we've got left. We've got one more turn of Trick Room. So let's make it useful. Let's go for an... Oh. Let's go for a knockoff. I think knockoff is the best thing to go for. There we go. Take out the drag pool with knockoff. And we get rid of its uh, whatever item it had. Which I'm assuming is a choice specs. But it won't show us, I don't think. I don't think it will show us. Will it? Oh, yeah. Choice specs. There we go. Gold Dango comes in. So this thing is a threat. We probably can't live and make it rain, but I know one Pokemon that can, and that is going to be Slow King. So let's go for the Slow King switch, like so, and we'll try and get that Trick Room back up for Crabominimal. So we're going to Drip Queen. If they go for a Shadow Ball here, expecting the switch, then that's a good play on their behalf, but I'm pretty sure they won't. I'm pretty sure they go straight for the Make It Rain, as there we go. Make It Rain comes through. It does, it does about half, but they have got a lowered special attack now, which means we get a free Trick Room off. Which is great. So, we're going to get them leftovers recovery. Just further increasing our odds of living the next Make It Rain. Unless they get a crit. But I don't think they will. I hope not. Let's go for a Trick Room. So, they go for another Make It Rain. Nearly gets the KO. Just about nearly. But not quite. And we get a Trick Room up, which is amazing. So, what we are now going to do. Now that the Twisted Dimensions have returned to normal. Uh, no, not to normal. Now that we've Twisted the Dimensions... We just go for a future site and let this thing go down. That's pretty much all we have to do. So we go for a future site. And we go first, obviously, because of the trick room. And Gold Dango can definitely finish us off. So we go for a future site like so. Make It Rain's going to finish us off the next turn. Or this same turn. The next, their turn. Make It Rain comes through. And Slow King goes down. But we got the future site up. So if Crabominable, for whatever reason, fails in its goal, then we can still do something here. So let's bring Crab the let's bring in Phil Mitchell the Crab. You know who Phil Mitchell is from EastEnders? Crabominable looks just like him, right? <laughs> anyway, let's go for a knockoff real quick to take this thing out. There we go. Should do the job as Gold Dango goes down. And I'm curious to see what item it had. Was it Choice Scarf or Choice Specs? I think it was Choice Specs, right? Yeah, Choice Specs. So Choice Specs, Gold Dango, and Dragapult. Interesting composition there. Great Tusk comes in, which is really good for us. As it is on extremely low HP. Let's see if we don't miss an Ice Hammer. Because it's got base 90 accuracy. Crab Hammer also has base 90. So I think we go for an Ice Hammer here. As there we go. We don't miss which is nice. If we missed it could have been a game changer. Great Tusk goes down. And that is going to be the game. So GG Valkyrie. That was a really fun one. You played really well. But this Trick Room team is quite oppressive. It, it does really well against um, OU at the moment. It just does. Because there's a lot of fast mons in OU for, to take advantage of the Trick Room with. There's definitely a lot of fast mons in OU right now. So that was a pretty fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know in the comments section if you do use this team, how it went for you. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.